Grayson with WAM PR, and today I'm here to give you the daily news breakdown, and we're going to be talking about three different headlines, so let's get right into it. So first up, we have the Washington Redskins and how they have been under fire recently from the media, but also their fan base for the term Redskins in their legal name. Some are saying that it is offensive to the Native American community, and they have expressed that they would really like to see that replaced with something else, but we're not quite sure what that term would be yet. So as far as that being uh, in the media and sort of circulating through the media, I said it was a scandal because I think it was brought up to sort of uh, give negative media coverage for the Washington Redskins in hopes of changing the name to something else less offensive. Now we have the National Women's Soccer League and how they have released a statement saying that members of any team are allowed to remain in the locker room during the national anthem if they so choose without facing any repercussions. I think that this is a response to the social movement that's going on currently and it has expanded into the world of sports which people pay a lot of attention to so I think that that's a really great thing and this is something this is a way for these athletes to sort of express how they're feeling about things without facing any repercussions so I think that that's great. I think that this was a stunt. I think this was released to gain media coverage, again, to sort of propel that this social movement, uh, Black Lives Matter, forward. Um, and I think it was a really great thing for these, for these athletes. Lastly, we have Matt Miazga of the US men's national soccer team and how he got into a fight and has been suspended for three games. Um, it was after a two to one loss this past Saturday and he got into a fight with Tom Lawrence and actually during the fight, there were punches thrown. He actually slapped him across the face. So they both received red cards, but as I said, Miazga is facing a three game penalty where he has to sit out. Um, as far as stunt scandal or situation, I think this is a situation, this was obviously not intended to happen. He didn't pre-plan this. This was sort of a spur of the moment sort of thing and people had to get it under control and the media got a hold of it and people are paying attention to it. But like I said, after those three games of sitting out, he will return to the team and be playing for the rest of the season. So that's all I have for you today. Uh, we would love to hear your thoughts, like, uh, share, subscribe, turn the notifications on, and we will see you next week.